What's going on everybody? Andrew Vasquezano with EXP Realty out here in beautiful Denver, Colorado. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If not, welcome back. Today's video got another pros and cons for you. This time we are out in Highlands Ranch, Colorado in South Denver. So we're gonna do a little, like I said, pros and cons, talk about what you would like here, what you might not like here, and everything in between. If you haven't already, don't forget to like, subscribe, smash the notification bell. It really helps with the channel and I really appreciate it. And of course, if you have any questions about moving out to Denver and the surrounding area, feel free to reach out to me with my contact information below. I am a licensed agent out here, happy to help you in any way I can. And with all that out of the way, let's jump into it. Let's first talk about the geography and where exactly Highlands Ranch is. So it's located in the South Denver metro area. It's about 30 minutes or so depending on traffic from downtown Denver and it encompasses this whole area right below 470 or south of 470 I should say east of US 85 and west of I-25. Lone Tree is there as well but most of that area right there is Highlands Ranch. So it's a pretty good sized community. A lot of development out there, a lot of houses continuing to expand south as well. So good location if you want to be close to the city but not in the city, close to the mountains if you want to gain e easy access to that. And also only about a 40 to 45 minute drive, again, depending on traffic to Denver International Airport. So overall, great location. All right, and the first pro I want to talk about is the abundance of restaurants and shopping. So when I say shopping, I don't mean like a mall or all these little boutique outlets and stuff like that. But it's got your typical stuff, Targets, uh, Home Depots, uh, Costco, which the Costco is not technically in Highlands Ranch, but depending on where you're at in Highlands Ranch, it's only about a five to 15 minute drive to the one in Loden Tree over in Park Meadows, which is gonna be probably your closest big mall in Highlands Ranch. So you can go to that if you don't wanna do the typical Targets and that kind of stuff. And in terms of restaurants, plenty of restaurants, they're all gonna be, or most of them are gonna be chains, I should say. So you're not gonna have some local um, restaurants they can go check out that's only to Colorado you're gonna have to go a little bit out of Highlands Ranch for that but for the most part if you need a quick bite to eat or if you want to go grab dinner somewhere plenty of restaurants to choose from and pro number two and I might get some flack for this one because not everyone likes HOAs but I personally think the HOA out here in Highlands Ranch is a pro it runs about 50 or so dollars a month and they take care of a lot of stuff so they're gonna do uh, plowing for snow. They're going to keep a lot of the common areas nice and beautiful. Unfortunately, it's winter right now, so there's not much to keep nice and beautiful because it's all dead or uh, hibernating for now. I don't know if hibernating is the right word. It'll it'll come back in spring. But again, $50 a month, that gets you all that. Plus, they have four total rec centers. So north, east, south, and west. That's kind of how Highlands Ranch is broken down. North Ridge, East Ridge, South Ridge, and West Ridge and that $50 a month HOA gives you full gym access to all those. Each one is a little bit different. One has a pool, one has a climbing wall. They all got your regular weight rooms and cardio rooms, um, and they have classes there every now and then if you wanna do some uh, classes instead of just working out yourself. Basketball courts, tennis courts, racquetball courts, all that included at all those rec centers. So if you wanna be active, great place to be active, and if you don't wanna be inside because it's a beautiful day like today, you can be out, walk all the trails. They got out here, so plenty of trails as well. All, uh, all kept up by the HOA. So again, $50 a month for that, in my personal opinion, isn't that bad. And pro number three, I'm gonna kind of combine a couple things here. So just gonna say the overall community plus the school system. So community, like I said, H or Highlands Ranch is one big HOA. Um, so far, my experience out here in Highlands Ranch has been great. Neighbors are great. Everyone I've interacted with is great. And to go on to the school system, they, it's in Douglas County. So you've got the Douglas County school system, which is just behind the Cherry Creek School District as one of the best school districts in Colorado. So definitely got that there. And if you want to do more of a private school, they've got the Valor Christian, which is an absolute castle. If you drive by it, I'm sure you've seen it. It's just a behemoth. Uh, but overall great school system, great uh, community, and just an overall personal opinion, great place to live.
course, got to talk about the negatives. So I sound like a broken record. It's like con number one is going to be the housing prices. If you've seen any of these videos before, or if you've looked up housing prices in Colorado in general, you'll know it's expensive out here. Uh, Highlands Ranch is particularly expensive. So if you're looking for a single family house, average price for a single family house is going to be probably in about the 700s. Uh, it's hard to find anything that's below 600. And if you do find a single family house that's listed below 600,000, chances are in this current market we're in, it's getting bid up well over 600,000. So um, that's definitely tough. There are condos, there are townhouses that are a little more affordable, you know, the 400 range, maybe 500 range. But the downside to those is you've got not only the Highlands Ranch HOA that covers the entire community, but you've also got sub HOAs on each one of those. So you could be paying 50 bucks a month for the main HOA and then an extra 200 bucks for a second HOA and potentially another hundred dollars for a third HOA, depending on the complex. So HOAs can get pricey and those HOAs are gonna be a lot more stringent than the uh, overall HOA, just because they got their own little community they're trying to uh, keep together in Highlands Ranch. But yeah, I mean, get ready to pay a lot if you're gonna be moving out here and if you wanna buy or if you wanna rent, rental prices are still pretty pricey. For a single family, you're looking at somewhere in the 2000s for, you know, mid 2000s for an average size house, you know, a three bed, three bath, uh, 2000 square feet. And if you want to go bigger or you need bigger, like a 3,500 square foot, five bed, four bath, whatever it may be, it's going to be in the more mid 3000, so 3,500 or so. So whether you buy or rent, it's going to be expensive out here. And con number two, I'm going to cheat a bit. So like I said before, there's plenty of shopping and restaurants. Um, but I also alluded to in the restaurant segment of it was that the restaurants are pretty much mostly chains. Um, you're not going to find a lot of just locally owned and operated um, specific to Colorado uh, restaurants or specific to Denver restaurants, I should say. Uh, it's going to be a lot of the chains. So you've got all your fast food joints, you know, your Chick-fil-A's and your, your Cane's, which are both delicious, I might add. Uh, and then you've got some other sit-down places that are still your chains, you know, your Red Lobsters and Olive Gardens and that kind of stuff. Um, so it's give and take, right? If you want to get something that's a little bit more local to Colorado and it's not a big chain, probably have to go to somewhere like Littleton that's just uh, north of here. Um, or Inglewood or Lone Tree or those places they'll have a little bit more in terms of local to Colorado and fewer chains of course every place is gonna have chains but Highlands Ranch definitely has more than most and the third and final con I'm just gonna go ahead and say probably the commute if you're gonna be working in Denver uh, again it's gonna take about 30 to 35 minutes without traffic with traffic could be extended a little bit depending on which part or which side of Highlands Ranch you're on you're most likely going to take either I-25 up north or US-85, also called Santa Fe up north. And during the mornings and after work, you know, after five or so, they always get pretty busy and pretty packed. So they're going to be sitting in some traffic. And then during snow days, it's even worse because, you know, everyone's driving cautiously, obviously. Or not everyone, but most people are. Uh, so they probably get stuck in traffic on there. And it could, you know, during snow, could take upwards of an hour just to get from downtown Denver to Highlands Ranch. So keep that in mind. Um, but if you do work in DTC, the Denver Tech Center, that's a little bit easier to get to. But again, when it's snowing during the times that everyone's commuting during rush hour, it's going to take a little bit longer to get there, right? So be prepared for that if you're working at those places. Luckily, nowadays, a lot of people are working from home. So you got that luxury. But if you're not, be ready for a commute. All right, and those are the main ones I wanted to talk about, short and sweet to the point. Hope you appreciated that. Uh, if there's other one of these videos you want to see or are curious about whatever city or town I'm talking about, feel free to drop a comment, reach out, let me know what you think, let me know what videos you'd like to see. And of course, if you haven't already ready, don't forget to like, subscribe, smash that notification bell. Really appreciate it a lot. Helps out, helps me out, helps the channel out. All great stuff. And if you're looking to move out here questions about moving out here or just visiting and want to know places to check out one i got videos about other things to do check those out but also feel free to reach out to me information below call text email whatever works for you i'll be happy to help you and with all that i'll see you in the next one